Hey, I'm Sammy Vasquez Jr. I'm currently a professional boxer, I'm 7-0, 5 knockouts. I'm from Manesson, Pennsylvania. I've been boxing for about 14 years. Um, I got over 200 amateur fights um, when I started out when I was 9 years old. I used to get bullied, I started boxing, my dad came home from work one day, he was like, hey, you know, you want to try boxing? I said, yeah. So ever since I was 9 years old, it's, it's been a blast. I, uh, been winning a lot of fights and um, it kept me uh, kept me going. Um, in uh, 2001, uh, 2003, I joined uh, the National Guard and I ended up deploying twice to Iraq in 05 and 06 in 2008-2009, where it deterred by boxing at the time. When I came back from um, my second deployment, I continued boxing and found out you can uh, box in the military which is called the WCAP team, uh, the World Class Athlete Program. I then joined the WCAP team in my route to trying to make it to the Olympics. Um, I made it to the Olympic trials. I placed, uh, I was the runner up, uh, got accepted to be an Olympic alternate, um, which I decided not to and turned to the professional career as a boxer. my commitment and obligations uh, for the National Guard and ended it in 2012 and continued my career in, in uh, professional boxing, which I now am currently 7-0 with five knockouts. Being in the military gen in a general sense is, is you know, a, an accomplishment itself. I mean, the, the, the discipline that you learn, um, you know, you have, you know, the, the, the Army values that you have to uphold. I mean, it's just, you, you just change as a person going from straight from high school right into the military and uh, trying to, you know, uphold a standard, you know, then it's different than trying to listen to your parents, your parents trying to teach you this or that, you know, you go into the military, I mean, this is what you need to do, you have obligations that you need to uphold, you're not just, you know, fending for yourself, you're fending for a team, you know, if, if you do one thing wrong, this doesn't affect yourself, it affects everybody else. So, for you to have the discipline and, and um, you know, all those, all those tight-knit things that you didn't think were a big deal, you know, are a big deal. You know, it was, uh, it's, it taught you a lot in life. I don't know where I'd be, you know, if I, if I didn't join the military. You know, it just, they've, they've done a lot for me and, uh, in my career and uh, even to get me into the boxing part of it because, you know, I, I've asked help from them to, to get me even on the WCAP team and, and um, you know, writing up you know, like good proposals for me, you know, saying that, you know, I should qualify to even be on this team and, and stuff like that. And they've, uh, and they've taught me so much and, you know, from even being deployed, you know, I mean, just learning that how people live over there and how we live here, you know, is, is we, we need to be thankful for what we have and, um, and where we live at because, you know, if it wasn't for them, I would have never even seen that side of the world. You know, I wouldn't even have seen with how those people live and how we live and try to compare it and, and just be thankful for, you know, the family that I have and, and you know, the, I mean, just, just everything. I mean, the military in general was just probably the best move that I ever made. I currently just uh, fought in Las Vegas, Nevada on a Golden Boy promotion show. Um, last minute, Three days before my fight, they changed my opponent on me to an opponent who was 16 and two. Um, I know he was a tough fighter, and uh, the opportunity for me to fight at a Golden Boy show, I wasn't going to turn it down. Me being only six and zero at the time, um, I fought him, and I uh, ended up stopping him and knocked him out in the second round. And I came right back home uh, to Pennsylvania. Took two days off, went right back in the training camp, and um, now I'm fighting for, you know, waiting to fight in Elizabeth, uh, Pennsylvania, at the Court Time Sports Complex for the Double Duty 3, uh, which will be held March 30th of 2013. Who I will be fighting um, a very uh, tough competitor, um, probably one of the toughest yet um, from what I hear, but uh, like I always say, you train hard in the gym, you know, you make work easy.